Hey guys, happy Saturday and welcome back to my channel. You guys haven't had voiceover Tony for a minute, so I figured, why not? This is a get ready with me. This was a couple weekends ago, I was heading out to a baby shower. So I'm starting with my brows and I get a lot of questions of how I maintain my brows and I just tweeze. I'm not like an overly hairy person, so I don't have to necessarily wax or thread or have like an elaborate grooming thing. I just have to tweeze like a couple straight hairs here and there and that's pretty much it so i started with that and then i moved on to my hair now my hair in this clip is very dirty so i knew for a fact that i was just gonna slick it back that's what i do when my hair is dirty because really what else can i do with it like it's not gonna style well you know what i mean so um yeah i just sectioned it into half like i worked on the back half first and slicked that back because again my hair was dirty i think that if my hair was clean I could just slick it back all at once, which is what I normally do, but because it's dirty, I knew it was going to be harder to work with. So sectioned it in half, worked on the back first, um, brushed it out, light detangle, applied my Eco Styler Gel, and then slicked that back and secured it into a bun. And then I worked on the front half and did the exact same process, just light detangle, applied my Eco Styler, slicked it and joined it into the bun as well in the back. And then I put a little bit extra around my hairline, tied that down and moved on to my makeup. The fun part. <laughs> so I'm starting with my primer and this is the um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. It's a soft matte finish, and this is a really good primer if you use enough of it. It's not one of those products where a little goes a long way. Like, you have to be generous with it. But if you are, it actually is really nice. You'll see in this next clip that it gives the skin a nice blur, and it helps minimize shine throughout the day or night. So, yeah, I like it. You just have to be generous with it. So next is concealer. I conceal under my eyes and around my mouth mainly, and that's pretty much it. I did also have a pimple on my forehead, so I concealed that as well. And then I moved on to contour, and I used the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. It's one of my favorite contour products. It's just, I just really like it. It's a cool brown tone, and also it's long-lasting and creamy, and I like it. And then I added some cream blush. So I was just working on all cream products and then just blended that out. Blend, 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 blend. And then I pretty much just set everything with the powder equivalent. And it gave me a nice soft finish. And I finished up with some setting spray. Let that dry down. And then I filled in my brows. And this product I love. It's by NYX. It's the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I love how my brows look when I use this product. Um, the color that I'm using is Espresso, which is pretty much the darkest brown that they have. It's so beautiful, but you guys, it runs out so quickly. So will I repurchase it? Yeah, probably, but I think I'm going to wait till it's on sale for sure. And then I added some highlight on the tops of my cheeks, under my brow, and um, the corners of my eyes. And I added some lashes. I actually cut one single lash in half and applied each half to the outer corners of my eyes because I have relatively small eyes. I think sometimes a really full heavy lash can really close them, make them look even smaller. So I wanted my eyes to be... A little bit larger looking today so i just cut a pair or i cut one lash in half i think it looked really cute i added a bit of mascara to blend it but i did look a little bit like i belonged in whoville <laughs> and by the time my makeup was done you know my hair was nice and slicked took off my scarf and just touched up the powder around the area that the scarf was and i pulled out my favorite guys the tony tail this is one this is like one of my signature looks it's a go-to i reach for this often when i'm not in braids i reach for this more often than i reach for like a full wig i just think it's like so cute i love it and i just put it over my actual natural ponytail pull the string taut wrap the cord around and hide it with a bobby pin and that's it. it's not going nowhere and then I grabbed something to wear. 
My uniform is literally graphic tee and jeans or graphic tee and joggers. Today I went with a graphic tee and some faux leather pants from Fashion Nova and my pandas, which are my favorite shoes of the moment. I also grabbed my small Telfar bag and I was ready to go. That was my final look. Looked good, felt good, and yeah, my makeup lasted all night and I had a great time. So that's it. Thanks for getting ready with me, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and I'll link everything I use down below. Peace.